and welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 163, and as you can see, I am once again filming in my kitchen, and I probably will be for most of the month, because last month or last week we had a missionary staying with us. Right now upstairs, it looks like a dormitory, because I've got three grandchildren coming to spend the night tonight at our house. Um, they are officially moving back into their house tomorrow. Um, for those of you who are new to the podcast, my daughter's house caught fire back in the summer, and they have been in a rental. Nobody was hurt. They lost two pets, but they lost most everything they owned. Um, but the house has been completely rebuilt, and so they are officially moving back in tomorrow, which is today when you're watching this, because uh, I'm filming on Friday. So anyways, half of the um, grandchildren are staying with us, and the other half are staying with their other grandparents and uh, while their parents put the finishing touches on the house and it's also their anniversary so um yes yeah, so we have it set up for beds upstairs for three grandchildren and then next week my son and daughter-in-law and their four kids are coming to stay so my craft cave has been taken over by beds right now so that's why I'm going to be filming for the next couple weeks down here in the kitchen so before we get started I will tell you what I am wearing this is the Swedish Lines shawl. It was a kit by Blueprint, and let me show it to you. It is extremely soft. This is a knitted pattern, but it is a basic knitting pattern. If you know how to knit and purl and to do a yarn over, you can make this. It's very, very simple. Um, here it is from this end. There's this end all the way across, and then it has little lines here. It's very basic, but it is, it is, like I said, it's very lightweight because it's alpaca, but it is so squishy and soft. It is all garter stitch. So when I mean garter stitch, here's what it looks like. And these are yarn overs right here. Right there. So um, this kit is on clearance right now at Blueprint. And... Um, it's only, now when I say kit, it's the pattern and all of the yarn for the kit. It's on clearance for $18.80. So that includes everything you need to make this. And you get to choose what colors. Um, I just chose a neutral, but you get to choose a light color and a dark color to go with it. So you can make it in any colors you want. Um, but it is extremely, I mean, extremely soft. And as you can see, it really bunches up small because it's, like I said, alpaca, which is lightweight, but it's very warm, and it feels great against your neck. I was wearing this all day yesterday. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is the Swedish Lines Shawl by Blueprint. Now, I have got so many things to show you this week, not so much in things I've gotten accomplished, but acquisitions. So just wait till we get to the acquisitions. It's quite, it was quite naughty when it came to the acquisitions this week. We'll put it that way. Um, all of the Black Friday sales, everything came in that I ordered. But let's start with finished objects. I have one finished object, and I really am not showing you the same thing every week. I've just made three of these now. So it is yet again another black scarf. This is the virus shawl pattern, but I did this with a three millimeter hook, and this is like Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. This is number 10, and I'll hold this up close so you can see it. It is the same pattern you do the virus shawl with and you just you can make this as big or small as you would like. So I made it small enough to use as like a headscarf, although someone did point it out that you could tie this very easily around your neck and it could be a summer cowl, which is also an option. And I did put little ties on the end. Uh, initially I was going to do a button, but I just figured this was so much easier just to have a tie and I can just tie it and that way I can make it as tight or as loose as I want because with this being cotton, I figure it's going to stretch a little bit. So I went with the ties. And like I said, this is the third one like this that I've made. The first one was for me. I wore it to church. Someone there asked me to make one for them. And then another lady last week asked me to make one. So this is the third one. I didn't know I was starting a fashion trend, but anyway, I've got a couple more for myself to make in some different colors. So I'm really tired of the black right now. 
Uh, so I'm going to be working on those. They're, they're perfect for like car knitting or car crocheting, something like that. Cause they're, I can tuck them in my par, my purse really easy. They don't take up a lot of space. So that is my finished object. Now I've been working on two works in progress this week. One is my cabled sweater. I, I only did one or two rows of the front part, which is completely, if you guys have seen it, it's like completely cabled all over the front. Um, but I only got two rows of that done. But I did get quite a bit done in the back. Here's where I was last week, right here. So I have gone about four inches and I've started, you can't see it really clear, but you can see how this edge angles in here. That's because this is the underarm, this is the arm that I'm starting to work on at this point. Because this is not a boxy fit sweater, this is a fitted sweater and it's seamed. So this is the side seam and this is starting the, uh, the cut for the arm hole itself. And this is extremely soft. This is James C. Brett and it is um, a, an Aran weight, which is just slightly heavier than than your average worsted. And it is it is an acrylic. I think it has it maybe has a little a little alpaca in it. It has a little of some some natural fiber. I don't have the ball band with me. Um, and yeah, so there it is. And it's a pretty kind of a pinkish purple. I don't even know what color does it's not violet. It's not lavender. It's probably the closest to a lavender, but it's kind of a rosy lavender. So, um, yeah, I really am looking forward to wearing this because it is extremely soft. So, um, yeah, so that's been my knitting project this week. Now, my crochet project this week, I really thought I was going to get done, but it didn't work out. It's been busy this week it, with Christmas coming. And this is, it's all tangled up, of course. This is the cardigan that I have been working on for a while now. Let me get this turned around so you can see the front. Okay, there is the front. Now I am doing the sleeves consecutively. So here is one sleeve. And I'm doing the same. It's like I, I do all the blue section, then I go over to this one and do all the blue section, um, just so I can get them both done at the same time. There's nothing worse than being stuck on Sleeve Island, where you cannot get off and you just feel like all you're doing is sleeves. So, um, yeah, this is this is the sleeve. And this is a drop shoulder cardigan, so it actually comes, the shoulder actually comes to about here. So... I've got a couple more of these repeats. It's a four color repeat. So it goes from blue to yellow to green to orange. So each repeat takes roughly about three inches. So I've probably got about four repeats to get to the bottom of my arm. And I will start decreasing a little bit as I go. And I'll decrease on the underside of my arm here because I do not want this to be this wide at my wrist. That's just, I would be, my sleeve would be dangling into every piece of food that I eat with this, every drink, everything. I just know me. I've got some outfits that have drop sleeves like that, and I'm always dipping them into things. And I don't know why that is. I'm just really uncoordinated. I also tend to spill things right here. It's like a shelf. And um, yeah, which is all the more reason why to wear a cowl. I can make the dress. Or I can make the shirt last longer because I can cover it over. It's sort of like a bib. It's a decorative bib. There we go. Um, yeah. That's another reason to wear cowls. You can cover all the spots you've created under your shirt. So that is my works in progress this week. Now it's time to check out what you guys have been making. Now it's not as much as it normally is because a lot of you are posting in our holiday along, which I will give you more information about in a few minutes. But let's take a look at what you guys have been doing.
Okay, now our holiday along is a joint effort. It is Sarah Oliver of the Last Who Knits podcast and myself, and we are doing a holiday along, which is knit or crochet projects, and it has been running since October 1st, and it will run until the end of December. And you can enter knitting, crochet, you can enter as many times as you want. Uh, there is a Facebook group. You can just go over to Facebook and ask to be invited, and we will let you in. And you can post for the holiday along. Please tell us when you enter uh, what type of yarn, and if you know, if you had a pattern, let us know. And how much, approximately how many yards you've made um, to make the project. And that is because, just for the fun of it, we are seeing whether Team Knit or Team Crochet does the most, um, accomplishes the most yards, and each amount of yards counts for a certain number of miles, and we're seeing how far both teams can get from Scotland, which is where Sarah lives, to Pennsylvania, where I live. So I'm going to give you an update from Team Crochet in just a minute. Um, but the reason we like to know what the patterns are is because the end of every month I post everybody's entries on here on the channel and if that way if you see a pattern you, you like or you see a project somebody's made it helps if you know what the pattern is so you can go make it for yourself so um yes there's there is like several hundred entries at this point it's really really amazing uh sarah and i have both said we are just amazed at the response and the just some of the stuff is just absolutely gorgeous so um, we are having fun. In fact, she said she says, I'm going to I'm I'm going to be sad to see it end because I'm getting to meet so many nice people. But hey, we all hang out on the Facebook group so we can just keep on hanging out together. So let me give you the progress. Like I said, I'm covering Team Crochet this week. If you want to see the progress of Team Knit, you can go over to Sarah's channel. Her video went up just the other day and she did Team Knit this week. So Team Crochet accomplished 12,000 yards of yarn this week. So yes, you hooked 12,000 yards of yarn. You are 1,500 miles across the Pacific. Uh, you have you left um, Japan and you're headed to San Francisco. So you've, uh, you've traveled 1,500 miles. You've got 3,500 miles more to go across the ocean in order to get to San Francisco. So I'm not going to post any pictures because we all know what water looks like. So, um, yeah, so you are in the middle of the ocean right now, traveling on your way to San Francisco. So it will be really interesting to see whether how far across the United States Team Crochet gets by the end of the month to see whether you guys will reach Pennsylvania or not. So it's sort of like around the world in 80 days with a twist. So... Anyway, at the end of the holiday along, which ends on December 31st, both Sarah and I will be drawing winners on our own channels uh, based on the people who entered, and the winner will receive a prize from each of us. So I'm not sure what Sarah is doing for a prize. Mine so far is a project bag and... Had to reach over and get it and a leisure arts book called Thread Christmas Ornaments. It is crocheted, and there it is. So I thought it was really cute. So that is again from Leisure Arts. So it will be that, a project bag, and then yarn of some type, but I'm not sure which yet. So now it's time for acquisitions. Now, my Knit Crate order came in. If you saw my Knit Crate video uh, when it arrived, you've already seen this. If not, I will do a brief recap here. Knit Crate ran on Black Friday an amazing sale that, it, that came out to about 80% off. It's like the best sale I've ever seen over at Knit Crate. Now, Knit Crate is a subscription box for yarn. There's several different boxes to choose from. The cheapest is their sock box, which is one skein of yarn, 
and you get a little pattern book like this, no matter which box you order, you get a little pattern book, and it has several patterns in it, like this one has a slipper pattern, a sock pattern, and there's an, another additional knit and crochet pattern. So it's usually at least three to four patterns um, in the magazine. So you get that, you get a skein of yarn uh, that is sock yarn, and that's $19.99, that includes your shipping. If you get the membership box, which is the one that I get, that's $24.99. That includes the cost of your shipping. You get the same book, but you get two skeins of yarn each month. So, um, yeah, it, it pays off because two skeins of, and it's like really nice yarn. And it's, it's not, it's never acrylic. It's always something, you know, what would be considered a luxury yarn. So when you figure you're paying $24.99, you're getting three to four patterns, which average you know, anywhere from 3 to $5 a piece, and then you're getting some yarn that's hand-dyed by um, Knitology, which is Knit Crate's company, um, and it's a luxury yarn. It works out pretty good price-wise. So they were running, and in addition to that, Knit Crate also runs specials, like after the monthly subscription box goes out, if you and you have the two skeins, if you want a third or fourth skein, they offer it at a discount price. Plus, every month that you stay with the subscription, you get what are called stash points. And once you get a certain number of stash points, you can cash them in for a discount as well, like $5 off, $10 off, $25 off of a purchase. So um, they do run sales regularly, but they've never done an 80% off sale. So I did a little shopping. I spent a total of $33, I think. And I got five skeins of yarn, and they are luxury yarns. So the first one I got is this. It is a super bulky weight. It is 100% wool, and the color is clementine. I have two more skeins of this, which I knitted into a pocketbook. Uh, it was a pattern that Karen of SSK Yarners, who I will talk about later, um, she sent me the pattern because she made a pocketbook and felted it. And I thought it sounded good, so she sent me her pattern. Only thing is, I carry more things in my pocketbook than the pocketbook size came out, because the pocketbook is literally about this big. I tend to stuff my bag because I use it like a work bag. So I bought an extra skein so that I can make the pocketbook bigger. So, and this is their Vitalana brand. And there are 60 yards in this. So that was skein number one. Then I bought a second skein, or a third skein of this. I have two skeins already. This is Ancient Ruin. It's Vitalana Ascendance. It's a 100% fine Peruvian Highland wool, but it is a braided yarn. You can see, you can see it's braided which gives it an overall different look once you uh, knit or crochet it up. And they always, with Knit Crate, they always give you a knit and crochet pattern that will work with the yarn they give you, uh, with the amount that they give you. But I had two skeins of this, and there are how much? 328 yards per skein. So I already had two, so I bought a third one. That way I could make something a little bit more substantial than the one that was in the pattern. So that was purchase number two. And then purchase number three, last spring they had this yarn. I really liked it, so did a good bit of us. It is a Knitology, which is again their brand, but it's called Knitology Sheen. The color is called Titmouse based on the bird, and it's got a navy, it's got this yellow, it has kind of a dove gray mixed in, and then it has this real light tan. It's beautiful yarn. This particular box only had one skein of yarn in it because this is like a super luxury yarn. It has 75% merino wool, 15% silk, and 10% cashmere. It is super, super soft, which is why there was only one skein, because these normally sell for $32 a skein because of the fiber content. So I had one skein, and then a while back over the summer, they ran a sale, and I bought a second skein. Well... They were running a special. Normally, three skeins of this are $54 on their sale. 
I got the three skeins together for $18, $6 a skein. I mean, it was like super, super cheap. So I now have a total of five skeins of this yarn, which will be enough because each of these has 400 yards, and this is a um, fingering weight yarn. So that will give me a total of 2,000 yards, which will be more than enough to make a sweater with. I mean, four skeins might have been able to do it, but I'd rather have five and play it safe. So, um, yeah, so now I can make a sweater, and this is going to feel so wonderful. It really is. Then I'm doing my yarn advent calendar with Karen Lyon of SSK Yarners. And so she sent me some yarns. There's a couple here that are actually hers. And that is, you've seen last week I showed you some sock blanks. Here was one this, this week, a little gingerbread man and a sock blank you literally unravel like this. And as it unravels, you knit or crochet it. So, um, yes. And somebody asked me, can you get the kink out of it? Because see, it's really springing kinky because it's been in this particular form. And yes, you can. Once you knit your project or crochet your project and you block it, a lot of that does come out. Um, but it's just kind of fun to do rather than have a ball of yarn. It's just you get to unravel. It's one of those things you get to unravel the project and actually have fun doing it. Because as you unravel and see the figure go away, what looks like here is going to knit or crochet up into something totally different. So it's just kind of fun to see how this, what this becomes once it's changed into something else. Um, sort of like morphing, yeah. And it's very, very soft. Yes, I said morphing, not morphine. Yes, I thought about that as I came out of my mouth. It was like, no, it's like if something was to morph. So, um, yeah, I want to clarify that one. So I got a gingerbread man. And I also got this ball, which she wound sort of like a gobstopper. Or you, you know, kind of wind it and change the color as you turn it. And somebody made the comment, said it's even the size of a gobstopper. And it really is, which is like a jawbreaker in case you don't know what a gobstopper is. Um, and this is called Ho Ho Ho. And this is one of her yarns. And then she also sent me this little notions bag. And if you guys watched that video, you were probably cracking up laughing because I had a problem opening the bag. Apparently I was pouch challenged. It's one of those pouches that automatically snaps shut. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So you can put your pouches in there and then it'll close. So she also sells those. And I didn't notice until just before I was filming this that there was actually something inside here. So inside was like a little sewing kit. There's a couple of pins and a little set of scissors and some buttons and a safety pin. And I did not even notice that was in here at the time. Then she also sent me these cute little stitch markers. This one is a measuring cup. And this one is a little spoon. And then she sent me this set that are like the, the, the rings with the beads in them. And these are nice. You know, these the fancy ones are all cute and everything, but I've had some that get they actually get caught in your work because they've got things that stick out on them. Um, so, yes. So I got some stitch markers. The other yarns that she sent, there's this one, which is like very pastels. It reminds me of sea glass. And then there is this one which is a black and then like a psycho psychedelic type of colors. It's like a turquoise and a chartreuse inside. And then this one's candy cane graffiti. And it reminds me, it reminds me of candy canes, but it also reminds me of peppermint stick ice cream because it has some white in it too. So yeah, so that's really pretty. And then there's this one, which is like some autumn colors. Then I received some happy mail from, so if you like some of the things you've seen that Karen has sent me that is from, that are from her shop, which would be, um, you know, some of these yarns 
and like the pouches and stuff like that. Uh, she is offering a sale over at her Etsy shop, and I will put the link down below. And it is just to the viewers here that are watching the podcast. And the coupon code is ADVENT19. It will give you 15% off of um, things in her shop with the exception of um, notions, self-striping yarn, and mini skeins. So there are some exceptions to it. But still, 15% off. It, and again, the coupon code is ADVENT19, and it's good until Christmas. So then I got some happy mail. And this is from Mary Ann of Yarn Happens with Mary Ann. And she sent me a Christmas card. And inside the Christmas card is this adorable crocheted Christmas tree ornament. And then there is this really pretty stitch marker. See if I can show it really well. It keeps wanting to turn around. There you can see it. It's, it's blue. Oh, it keeps flipping. There we go. It's like a blue topaz color. Topaz is my birthstone, so sometimes I can go with the brown, sometimes I can go with the blue, but it's really pretty. So thank you again, Mary Ann, and thank you, Karen, for the discount, um, because I know a lot of people have really liked those sock blanks. So go over and check out her sock blanks. I mean, sorry for the interruption. No, it, it never fails when I'm on doing a podcast, the telephone rings. It's run twice. So if you like her sock blanks, keep in mind what you're seeing is just a, like the, an end of the sock blank. It's a lot bigger than this like the whole sock plank. These are remnants uh, because we only sent each other like roughly 10 grams of yarn each. So these are leftovers from some of her projects. So um, yeah, go over and check out her shop and check out Mary Ann's uh, podcast. Again, that is Yarn Happens with Mary Ann. Now we are ready for our Now this week in our sales, Annie's uh, is offering a sale. It's called the Rain Deal Sale for the 12 Days of Christmas, I think is what they're doing. Anyway, because this is deal number four. It is up to 50% off of patterns, books, and DVDs. Okay. I don't believe you need any coupon code. Um, I'm hoping by the time you all see this tomorrow that the sale is still effective. Uh, but when I looked, it was. So that is Annie's Craft Store. Blueprint uh, through the 17th, which would be Tuesday, is running up to 70% off of their door busters. So if you, the, the links to all these sales are down below. If you click on that, it'll take you to the deal of the week, and that is where the door busters are. They're basically clearance items. So it is offering through the 17th up to 70% off, no coupon code needed. They also, they had this really pretty afghan over there that I'm going to show you a picture. It's called the Grenoble Afghan, and it's a kit. So here's what it looks like. It is one of the door busters, the kit, which means all of the yarn and the pattern is $29.86. So, um, yes, that is the Grenoble Afghan. Consumer Crafts is offering free shipping on any purchase over $25, and they are the cheapest place to get the um, uh, Lily's Sugar and Cream, the dishwa or dishcloth yarn. That's the cheapest place I found is over at Consumer Crafts. Create for Less is having a flash yarn sale. It ends on Tuesday, which would be December 17th, 2019. No coupon code needed. It is just a flash yarn sale for a couple of days. So again, that's good until Tuesday. Dollar Tree, uh, I showed last week that they started carrying wool. And um, so you do have to buy an entire case. So the yarn that I showed you last week was the gray 100% wool. 
It's a dollar a skein. You have to buy a minimum of eight, which is what is in a case, or a minimum of six, which is what is in a case. Now that's for the white and for the gray. They do carry red. However, you have to buy 108 skeins. I figured that out. That is 10, or 11,556 yards of red yarn. Unless you want to share it with your entire neighbor or crochet wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, I can't imagine you needing an entire case, but there it is. They do have wool that is red over at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can set it so that you can pick it up at your local Dollar Tree and don't have to pay any shipping either. And the wool is actually really decent yarn. Um, decent yarn. I was very impressed uh, for for a dollar skein. It comes out to about a, less than a penny per yard. I think it's a 107 or 108 yards per skein. So um, the white and the gray, you only have to buy six. So um, like I said, I bought the gray. Ice Yarns always has a clearance section. They have a closeout section. So they're, there's so many sales over there, it's, it's like overwhelming to even try to list what's on sale. Um, Knit Picks, they are running a special right now of sampler packs, which are four skeins of some of their different types of yarn, and it's 40% off. It depends on, you know, some are more expensive than others, depending on what fiber content you choose. So they have these bundles of yarn put together and you can test out some of their different brands and it is 40% off. Their yarn of the month, which is always offered at 20% off, this month is their Hawthorne yarn, which I have made before um, or I've used before to make a shawl and it's very nice. It comes in a speckled and a tonal and some other different weights and things. So their Hawthorne brand is 20% off this month. Leisure Arts, I saw some really cool things over there. I thought since some of you have been knitting a lot of hats, I would show you some hat patterns. They have a knitting book called Love Hats and More. It's $5.99, but there's 14 projects in the book. But then they have even a better deal. If you knit and crochet, it has a mix. It is 10 different projects but it's only $4.99. And it is all your favorite hats. So it's a mix of crochet and knitting patterns. Um, 10 projects all together and it's $4.99. So that is Leisure Arts. And then lastly, Lion Brand is offering 45% off of their yarn and kits through the end of the month. And the coupon code you need for that is DEC45. So that lasts through the end of December 2019, and that is 45% off of their yarn and their kits. And that is the Lion brand. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, make sure you stay tuned each day for the next yarn unboxing for the yarn advent calendar. And... Um, yeah, and some other whatevers I happen to throw in. I just talked to my daughter. She was one of the phone calls that came through during the podcast. And because uh, it's her kids, I'm going to be watching this afternoon. And she said it would be okay for me to take some pictures of their redone house. Uh, if you like farmhouse style and you like Fixer Upper and Joanna Gaines, you will like what you see with my, my daughter's house because it very much is that style um, my daughter is an interior designer by trade. She went to college for it. Not to be confused with interior decorator. A decorator can decorate, but they can't design, like move structural things around. A designer can decorate, but they can also do some structural changes. And she actually did. They did change some things with the house, um, some of the floor plan when they redid it um, after the fire. So anyway, that will be on one of the videos this week. Um, along with the, the next yarn advent unboxing. So be looking for that. And there will be no Wednesday video this week simply because I'm doing a video every day. So I will see you each day this week and then for a regular podcast again on Saturday. So thanks again for watching.